Hey there, Aries. What's up to all my Aries out there? I thought this would be really neat to do a little life after eclipse type reading to see what's happening in your life after this eclipse. So we've had the eclipse on Sunday and I'm recording this on Wednesday. Um, that eclipse really kicked my butt. I was really tired. I wanted to get this video out sooner, but I've been exhausted. I don't know if you you guys have been feeling um, really exhausted. Comment down below if you have, but I have some energy. So I thought, hey, let's see what Aries can expect after this eclipse. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. Remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. So just kind of take the pieces that that do resonate and go with it. If they don't, just throw it out. All right, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Aries, it's really interesting because, okay, what's coming out of your life? You have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. And I really feel that this combination is telling me that something that you're removing, okay, something that you were kind of stuck on you're moving away from I feel that there was something that you were keeping to yourself you're moving away from that if that's making any sense um for some of you I just I'm hearing a secret some, some type of secret some something you were keeping to yourself um or something you just weren't really making a move on you're actually moving away from that energy. And I feel that you are, there's much more movement coming in for you. You're leaving whatever the situation is behind, whether it was in love or career, you're definitely moving away from the four pinnacles type energy. Um, now I see what's new is the, oh, did I get my, okay, I have my other cards. Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> What I see what's new is the death card and the ace of cups. So I really feel that for some of you, you're going to be finding love with a Scorpio. I'm, the heart is drawing me in. A water sign, a Scorpio or some type of water sign, a new love is coming in. Now, if you're not looking for love, um, I feel that there's some type of partnership with this king of cups that's coming towards you. There's a king of cups type person coming towards you. Now, it could be love or it could be business. But for many of you, I see love. I see an end of some type of situation, some type of transformation that's going to be happening for you, um, which is awesome with this eclipse. And you're going to be feeling overwhelmed with, with love and joy with this cup. Your cup is going to overflow. Now, this could be love or business, something that you wanted. I hope it's not dark in here. Hold on a minute. Is it too dark? A little better. Oh, sorry, there's a little glare on the thing, but I think that might be a little better. Better, okay. But something definitely is going to make you really fulfilled and happy. Excuse my nails. I haven't been able to get them done. But anyway, I'm getting distracted a lot in your video too. I feel that some of you may be um, have been a lot of very distracted in the past, and you're coming out of that too. I just get this distracted. I don't, I don't normally get that way, but I'm getting very distracted with your, with doing your video. Now, with the King of Cups that's coming in, I really feel with this Two of Wands right here, some of you may be picking from a past love and a new love. And then for some of you, it may not be that. For some of you going about this new partnership or love connection you can either deal with it the old way that you used to deal with it or the um new way that you can go about doing things that you've learned if this is making any sense i'm getting that and then some of you are just going to be having to choose between two different things with this king of cups energy now the king of cups could be someone who's um wanting to come in and offer you something business-wise some type of partnership a new job or this can definitely be love, but I'm feeling love strongly with some of you. Definitely. Now, your overall energy is definitely juggling the, the two of pinnacles and the devil right here. I really feel that you're going to be trying to juggle this new opportunity that you have or even this new love situation. Okay, I'm hearing children, um, 
trying to find time with your children and this and this person. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but it's coming. It's coming in for some reason. Um, and this could be um, your job too. Your this new job and your children, your family life. Um, you might have a little bit of fear and doubt, but you got this. You're going to be fine. Spirit's saying. Now with your music cards right here, you have <laughs> Future and Kanye West. I won. So I really feel that you're going to be really feeling that you won yourself something big when it comes to this new love connection or, like I said, partnership um, or new job. You're going to feel like you won. And then some of you actually, the I won right here, you will actually be winning something, Aries, after this eclipse. So you might want to play a little, little scratch off here and there. You know, don't go crazy with it. But when I see I won, that tells me something. You may be winning something. But also, you're just going to be feeling just very fulfilled and happy after this eclipse. It's going to feel like you won. If it's love, you're going to feel like, hey, you hit the jackpot with this person. And yes, I feel like this person is going to be sticking around. Now we have Kylie Uchi's loner. I feel that that could be you, um, a bit of a loner. Some of you may be a bit of a loner. A loner. I know I am. Um, or this person, if you're not a loner, this new person that's entering your life, this King of Cups, is definitely probably a loner type person. And then we have Post Malone's I Fall Apart. So I feel like you're leaving some heartache situation, definitely. This is going to be behind you. Um, I feel like you were just sitting on something with this Four of Pentacles, not really making any movement, and you've decided to leave that behind. That's what I'm getting with the Post Malone card right here. Now we have Watch and Wait. Watch and wait with the seahorse spirit. So something you've been, you're going to be watching and waiting. Spirit is telling you to watch and wait. And you know what it is. It may resonate with you. And then we have lay a solid foundation. So I really feel that spirit saying whatever this is, if it's love or career, with the watch, of, watch and wait right here, it's telling you to take your time. That's all. Don't rush because um, Aries is the ram. You know, don't rush aggressively to it. Um, just let it play out naturally. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. And lay a solid foundation. So really, I'm getting dot your, dot, your, dot your I's and P's or P's and Q's or something like that, that saying or whatever. Um, really pay attention to detail with this and take your time. Don't rush. But it's also saying sweet results await. You have sweet revolt, results that are that are going to um, come of whatever this project is or whatever this romance situation is. We have the B. I really see you really busy working on something. The B is all about business. I mean, not business. I'm getting business. Some of you are starting your own business. But some of you are really, um, really working hard at something. And it's funny because we have the message right here. I feel that some of you are going to be getting a message from this King of Cups person. It could be a text message now your Instagram, Facebook, some type of message is coming. This is exciting that they're interested in what you do, your work, or they're interested in just they like you. But someone's coming in showing interest for you, and that's really interesting. Now we have career, too. Aries, you're going to be doing really well after this eclipse. Now the eclipse happened on Sunday, so things are going to start taking off for you because we have a career and we have love. Like things are really going to be picking up in your love life and career, which is awesome. Now, definitely playing, what does it say? You will be playing a different role. So I definitely see that there's a different career. Something you haven't done before for some of you, you're just going to be doing it like a different role, different role. Some of you may be stepping into a leadership role. I'm getting you're just going to be wearing a different hat, something that you haven't done before. And then a misunderstanding. Um, I see that there's going to be some type of misunderstanding with something, but you're going to work it out. You're going to be fine, Aries. Some type of misunderstanding that's coming about. It could be with your career or with love, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything major. Just know that it's a misunderstanding, whatever it is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw some of your charms because I work with some of my charms that I've been trying to collect on the down low, and they're here. Oh, hold on. Before I do your charms, let's go ahead and pull some of your love cards. I'm going to only do this for you because we're seeing love right here. I didn't do it for my other video for Virgo, but I'm going to do it for you. 
Let's see. Spirit for love for Aries. Woo! Okay. Here we go. Oh, so like I was saying, this is awesome. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we have past life relationship. You've known each other before. So yeah, definitely someone is coming. Okay, so this King of Cups is someone that you've probably known before that's trying to come back and wanting a second chance. They're coming towards you. And like I said, you have to do, you're going to have to choose from your past and your future how you want it to deal with the situation. Do you want to continue? Um, do you want to go back in the past and rekindle this thing with this person, it's up to you, Aries. Only you know that. Everybody's situation is different because I'm reaching different energies across the world. So only you know. Everyone's going to be different. You may decide that it's not worth it. But for some, you may decide that it was. You know, you miss them. I really feel now with this misunderstanding right here, why you guys stopped talking or whatever, it was because there was some type of misunderstanding, Aries Spirit is, Spirit is saying. It was just a misunderstanding. And this person may be coming in saying that it's a misunderstanding. And Spirit is saying, hey, you might want to give the person a chance. Or, you know, they may be coming in and just wanting, seriously wanting you to give it a chance. Because y'all have some type of past life connection. This is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and pull some of your charms real quick. Spirit for Aries, for Aries, for Aries. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we have a G. Why is there a letter in here? Oh, I put some letters in here. Hold on. I'm going to pull some more. I'm sorry if I hit the camera with my forehead. <laughs> so sorry. Didn't mean to do that. No, it's irritating. Okay, I'm going to pull some le more letters. See if you can make some initials. This. Right, and we're going to also pull a couple of words for you to end the video. Yeah, this seashell talks about a message. Hearing some news, some type of message or something. Oh, no. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so we have some letters. I hope you guys can see that. We have a G, S, we have a T. A C over here, an E, another E, a J, a T, a B, an E. Okay, so if you guys can make some initials or something that resonates with the letters right here. We have summer. Summer is very significant. We are in the summer now. So something's happening for you in the summer. We have three months. Ooh. Something's happening for you three months, too, from now. Three months, Spirit is saying. Summer and three months. Ooh, I like this one. It says, it's not over. It's just getting started, Aries. Oh, I like that. So it's not over. It's just getting started with something. Okay. We also have heavenly signs. Yes, stay in the now. Stay in the 5D. Spirit is sending you signs. You're probably seeing numbers, pennies, butterflies, dragonflies, something that you're seeing repetitively. They're trying to tell you something, especially with numbers. I don't know why I closed that again. Heavenly signs, okay. We also have, what else do we have here? Okay. You're not of this world. I love this. Okay, so this is basically telling me, Aries, that... For some of you who are feeling like a loner, because we had the Kylie Yuchi's loner, this is basically telling me, Aries, that you're not from this, this world. Like, you're not, you probably are, well, you're definitely a star seed. Which star seed, I don't know, but you're probably a Palladian or um, from the serious star system. Are Palladians from there? I don't really know too much about that. I'm just getting into it. But this is basically telling me that your soul is different. Like you're you're alien, but it's good. You're you're a messenger, you're gifted. You're definitely 
different from everyone else around you. And so embrace it. You're here for a special purpose, Aries, a special purpose. You're not weird. You're some type of messenger. There's a reason why your soul has incarnated here on earth. But just know that you're not really of this world. You're basically learning how to be human and <laughs> the human experience. You're basically learning that. For some of you who are feeling like a loner, um, look up star seeds. You're definitely a star seed. Now it says one, two, three, four. Taking one step at a time. We have mom. Your mom is really important. Some something to do with a mom. We have dad too for some of you. That's significant with this eclipse. Um, what else do we have here? Ex-wife. Now this is funny. This is dealing with someone's ex-wife, or this is dealing with you. You could be a wife too. Um, it has something to do with an ex-wife or a wife in general, and maybe you're a wife or you will be a wife. I'm not sure. Something to do with that. And we have Namaste right here. If you can see that. We have the zebra right here. So this is about adventure to me. You know, wonder. Oh, what is that? Okay. We have measuring up. You'll be definitely measuring up, focusing on measuring up right here with the tape roller. Okay, so we have the spider and the spider web. So that basically tells me, uh, I got that Gwen Stefani Fani song, if some of y'all know that. And the spider web, something, something. I don't know. I don't forget the words of the song, but that Gwen Stefani song is stuck in my head. But anyway. I really feel like with the spider and the spider web, you're going to be really focusing on securing something for your future and your family. Definitely. And ooh, we got the electric sewing needle. Um, this basically tells me you're working on something at home. You're working on something, some type of entrepreneurship. This is something that comes from you that's unique and it will be successful by the way. Self-love. Spirit saying focus on self-love. And I really feel that you'll be healing your heart chakra. My last reading, my last group got this as well. Now we have, sorry if you heard a loud, loud thump. That was my husband coming in. Okay. We also have the love between a grandmother and a grandmother. Granddaughter is forever. So some of you have a deceased grandmother that's sending you love. We have a water sign cancer. Now you can have cancer in your chart or... Um, dealing with someone that is a cancer or has cancer in their chart. Now we have the angry, the angry mouth right here. So I feel that there's going to be probably some anger that you'll be feeling towards someone. Um, maybe some type of disagreement or argument, but it'll fly by. You're catching something. Um, baseball may be significant for some of you, but I really feel that you're going to be when I when I see this thing, it's you catching something, something that you've been waiting for. You're going to get it. You're you're going to catch it. If this is making any sense, it's going to happen. That's basically what I'm saying. Now we have the message right here with the seashell. We have hope and hope again. It's telling you to continue to have hope. You got it tw two times. We also have the imagination. It's telling you to use your imagination even more with this. Is this Pegasus? Pegasus, I want to say. It reminds me of using your imagination. We have Aquarius. So you may have Aquarius in your chart or dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, we also have the little, I forget what this thing is called, but it's basically steering. What is this thing called? <laughs> but this basically reminds me, like on a boat, you're basically steering. You're taking control of your life. You're taking control of your boat. Um, and where you want to go. You're really steering and steering yourself into the direction that you want to go into. And then we have the butterfly, a huge transformation. You're a butterfly now. You're transforming. And then a key. I love this. The key right here. I didn't have any more. Okay. The key. A big opportunity is coming for you with this key. Now, this could be a brand new home for some of you. Something, something big that you've been trying to unlock, you're going to unlock it. Same thing with I, when I said you're going to catch something. Not like catch something as in you're going to catch a disease or COVID-19 or anything crazy like that. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, a big opportunity. And we have forever right here. We have forever. So it looks really good for you, Aries. 
If you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys, Aries. Bye.